everybody back with a little mail day it looks like i got three things uh popeye plows auction results uh i think a pickup from twitter and then something from jetman 80 basically a lot of cards that i bought it was i think what was ever left from his fire sale he just asked if I was interested in buying them, so the price was good. So I said, yeah. And there's a note. It says there's a few Titans and Bucks in here for you and the boy, Jetman80. So you don't have to throw in any extras. But yeah, half the cards that he had from his fire sale, I told because he said something about me selling them PWE or whatever. I knew I wasn't, because like I said, PWE is awesome, but uh, the way I ship them, you know, it's 80 cents for the stamps, because the additional ounce stamp, that way you can do non-machinable and all that good stuff. Then after an eBay fees and your PayPal fees, I mean, you're making like a quarter a card for $1.99 or something like that. $2 or, I mean, something like that. So here's a Mariota rookie from Prism. Uh, we'll just kind of breeze through stuff. Deshaun Watson rookie from Leaf. Craig James, Joe Namath, a Matt Ryan relic. That is game worn too. Justice, Justin, Justice Sheffield, Cal Ripken, Thorpe, Jeter, a Torres. Like I said, I, I, there's a couple cards I pointed out that when I looked at them, I was like, yeah, those I'll probably sell PWE. But uh, a few more, I don't know what I'm going to do with, really. Just go in another pile somewhere. <clears throat> a Law Rookie, that would be a good one. I think that's a good one. Those kind of inserts, you know, it might sit for a while, but $1.99, $2.29, wherever you want to put it. Probably that one, maybe. And the Frank Thomas first round pick. I guess that's a rookie. It's pretty cool. Each row. And then this red Sony Michelle would be a perfect example of one. From Dunross. Some sticky, sticky painter's tape. Uh, I can't remember what was in there. It's Aaron Jones camo to 25. Right there. I'll worry about all this later. If I can get off my fingers. So yeah, it wasn't nothing crazy, you know. I think it was 20 bucks. All together for this stuff, so I think that's pretty cool. So these are the bucks. I know you don't have that. It's one of those like CD ROM things. There was at one point in time I was gonna buy a huge lot of these CD ROM type cards, but I forgot about it and missed the auction. The Ansi Thigpen Prestige, it's pretty. Frank Whitecheck, Devin White, Eric Rett. Got a Jordan Kent rookie. Auto there. Sam Rogers. The Andre Reed and Thurman Thomas. Marshall Falk. It's a cool looking card. This deck. It's a perfect PWE card. Again, it's only a couple bucks, but eventually it will sell. Calvin Ridley, Gold Team, Jerome Bettis, Crash the Game, Jermaine Gresham, Gresham, National Treasures, Brett Favre, Ultra Fleer, Aaron Donald, the Red Border Scorer, Common Checklist, Johnny Damon, and uh, Darius Leonard from Dunruss. There was a point in time where that card right there was selling for like $4 a piece, $5 a piece. Pretty crazy. They've went down, but there was a time. 
Joey Bosa at 299. Sam Darnold actually got a couple of these for like three bucks. PWEs on eBay. The Ray Rookie I got a couple of these. I think those. So yeah, I don't remember seeing those, but either way, that's what it was. Thanks for the extra, Sam. Thanks for the uh, little lot purchase. Nice little mail day there. Well, I'll just keep these before I knock them over. So I think this one was a purchase off Twitter. Usually I'd open this stuff up. But yeah, it was a little different of a purchase. Like I've never really... So this guy on Twitter, he posts a card. And I thought it was a good price right off the bat. So then all of a sudden he's messaging me. I'm like, yeah. I was like, is that your best? Blah, blah, blah. And then he really lowered the price. And then he lowered it again without me saying a word. Then he like basically lowered it again. He was like, yeah, I'll throw in all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's one of those too good to be true stories. You know, it's just kind of odd, but I guess it's here. So this is the Chrome Earl Campbell and the one to 199. And then look at that. So it is player worn. It's out of 25. It is all on sticker though, but from Luminance this year and Earl Campbell. So. I'll get that into a mag, but I paid $20 ship for this. And he's like, yeah, because I, I, I don't know. He's going to charge a couple bucks for these. I was like, I don't care about these. I just want this. And yeah, he kept lowering it because he said he needed money for a break. And I was just kind of like, okay. I mean, I paid goods, of course, but then he had to deal with all that hassle. But it's here. So uh, the man on Twitter, thanks for the awesome deal. So. $20 shipped to my door. Earl Campbell out of 25 That's pretty pretty awesome. And a couple of nice Earls that I did not have. And then I got, with my $3... I don't know why I'm opening this on camera, but with my $3 off, anything above $3.01 on eBay, which I tried sharing that. People were sharing it all over Twitter, but... Every so often, eBay does a thing where you get... I just got a bag of carded, these uh, big graded bags. I mean, they're for like, you know, your big cards, but... Graded cards, but they're nice for auctions and stuff like that, and sales and stuff. But I basically got it for like 20 cents or something like that, so it was sweet. And then I got this, my $4... Well, I had actually paid $8 shipping from uh, Popeye Plow, his auctions. And I, again, I don't know how people are missing his auctions. In a way, I'm glad they do. But he's always got fire stuff. And it's one of those things. There's only a certain amount of people out there to where I, if I start getting a pile, you know, I'm always worried about making my first purchase, you know, because then I'm like, you're committed. You're paying for shipping. So you better make shipping worth it. This is packed really well. By the way, I just don't have the room to unpack it on camera. But Popeye's one of those guys to where, like, once I get going, the stuff never really goes down in quality. So, I mean, you're, like, nonstop purchasing things because everything's good. I mean, everything. I mean, I bought a couple of lots, I think, that I had no idea why. I just already had the nice stack going. So I continued with it. I think I got everything in here. A bunch of peanuts and bubble wrap. So I'll just start off with the big item here. That. I'm not going to really have room. So I started buying a couple mini helmets if the price was right at one point in time. And eventually I, you know... They're kind of pricey for being mini helmets and they're harder to uh, store away and all that good stuff. I only got a couple. I got a couple Oilers, a couple of Niners that I got in a break, uh Cardinals one and a Bob Lilly Cowboys one. But he had these two mini helmets and I, he was like, hey, I was going to start it off with this. And I was like, hey, I'll give you that right now. And he was just like, no, nope. there was no other takers, but I thought it was pretty sweet. So it's a Steve Largent Hall of Fame inscribed 95. The old school Seahawks I want too, so I'll definitely be keeping this. It's gotta go. And it's a mess, man. It's it's gonna go right down there and that little University of uh Houston helmet there I've had forever. 
I don't even remember who it is, but that's going to go there. So awesome buy there. And like I said, it was already shipped. I, I literally had to pay four more dollars for the shipping. I was already even paying for anyway. And I know he paid more than that for the shipping cost. So again, I apologize for making you pay for all that good stuff. But so we'll go into this stuff. And again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So we got this Acuna, Acuna Jr. And I don't know which one's the variations. I know he explained them well when um, he was talking. But yeah. Good pickup, I guess. And then this, I think, God, I think I got it for like a dollar, maybe two dollars. It's base. It's an event used base. So I don't know what that means, but it's Barry Bonds. And again, it's one of those things. Once you get going and you already have a pile, you might as well keep going. So this is a Rice Hoskins rookie, the red, something out of 199. Very nice. This is why I usually open them off camera. That way I don't have to, you guys don't have to wait. But Terrence McGahee, I think I paid a buck for that. This, uh, I think this is the most expensive card I bought, I think. Other than the helmet. This Marte. Bowman first, first Bowman. That's out of. I thought this one was no. Yeah, it's on the front. It's out of 99, so that was nice. Green Mojo or whatever they call this, but beautiful card. And yeah, still think I got a really good deal on that one. And then this is Adrian Beltre out of 99 from National Treasures. That is game worn as well. See, like that stuff, I don't even know about, but. Jackie Robinson, obviously, on the side. And it's weird because there's more baseball than anything in here, which is pretty odd for me because I'm not the most comfortable guy when it comes to baseball. But this is one of the – I don't know if this is a variation or not. But either way, from update, it's a rookie of Aquino Jr. again. I think I got a PSA 10 of that card. It might be the Chrome card. Maybe not. And then, again, just the 35th anniversary card. It's a nice card. Uh, this Nick Miles. I don't even know how to say his name, but it looks older than a rookie. I grabbed that, and this was like a couple bucks. I know it's Mike Glennon. It's out of 15. Not the craziest thing to buy, but I bought it. Then there's a couple, I don't even know. A couple of these uh, baseball lots. Uh, David Justice. I just thought it was cool because this post thing was up here. 94 Flare Justice. Uh, yeah. And then another rookie right there. Like I said, I have no idea when it comes to baseball. Sometimes it's almost like when you're traveling down the highway and, you know, you're going above the speed limit, but you're kind of just going with traffic. Like, if People are bidding that I know collect baseball. I kind of feel like I should be doing the same to a certain point. So we got Glavin and Smoltz. Somebody said something like one of these was an error card. I can't remember which one, but either way, those are some cool old school. And those were cheap. It wasn't like I paid like 40 bucks for these things. I can't remember how much baseball I got. I'm looking and there's more. Javi Lopez, this Dale Murphy, Smolt. Is that the one that somebody was saying? I can't remember. Or is that Glav? I don't know. One, somebody said one was Glav and one was, uh, that's a pretty card. Then this one, no interest whatsoever as a football guy, but I paid a dollar for it. So it's an on-card uh, Jalen Strong out of Immaculate. I mean, it's his college, but yeah, a buck. It's crazy. Just, just sat there for a dollar. And a few of these I won for, I think, a dollar when he just started out the bid. But this is Ray Ray McLeod out of 99. The Draft Picks Contenders ticket here. And here's a... MVP contenders Aaron Rodgers, I think out of 175. I got a couple of these now. I've bought in really cheap from a couple auctions. Out of 149, it's the red. It's on card. DJ Shark. 
then out of 50 this dd again I'm not huge into college it was just super cheap and it's just like man why is it going so cheap and then this elite deck card here aaron Rodgers, Devonte freeman out of 49 and i think yeah these three came in a lot i don't care about the green bell and then another instant impact josh allen i think it was like a couple bucks for those Baseball, man. Just baseball upon baseball. Ahmed Rosario. That is 9 of 10. I know it's studio. It's not the, uh, you know, it's not a Topps product, but still pretty short print. Another short print out of 10. The Shoemaker from Prism out of 10. We got Wander Franco, the uh, green camo. They call it camo. Just the paper of Wander. I think I, that's two straight auctions. I've bought a Wander off of them in an auction. This is a four net out of ten as well. I love short print stuff. So that was from last year's uh, gold packs from Panini. Then we have this Cal Ripken Jr. It's just one of those manufactured things. I paid a dollar for that. This Marlon Mack. It's just the silver. I was cheap. Nah, I don't know if he said this one was a variation. Either way, I don't know. But yeah, this should be some kind of variation. I didn't pay very much, but trout. Ooh. And then the last couple. Got the Carson Wentz blue out of 199 And this last one. This is a Marquise Colson who was a beast before, like the Michael Thompson came along, but out of triple threads, and that was game used, I thought he said. Relic card, blah 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 blah. This card, game used jersey, yes. So it's, I mean, I get he's not playing. He's probably not a Hall of Famer, but again, right price, man. We'll buy damn near any card there is. And this is a book in 10 of 10 from this year's playbook or play uh, playoff dalvin cook chiefs and then a jamal adams out of 199 from this year's playbook so it's not a rookie but that was it was there i think i was like one of the first cards i bought so yeah that was a nice little haul i'm really excited about this uh mini helmet i just the old school look just looks badass and i love it so Thanks for the good deal on that. Like I said, and the price for it being pretty much shipped already was a no-brainer for me. So I wish I could add some more here and there. But usually if I find somebody like, you know, a guy in Buck City just hit a Bethea one actually the other day. And I tried asking if he was keeping it or if he wanted it or just wanted to sell it. But he never responded. So that kind of sucked. But uh, that's all I got. It's another rainy day here. And that was my mail. That's pretty much all I have coming in now. I mean, there hasn't been any more auctions. I absolutely have nothing coming as of right now. So now I can just do some sorting and some listing and stuff like that. Because like I said, all most of these are like PWE type cards. And then you got hits and stuff like that that you can do. It's never ending, but it's fun. I love it. So that's all I got. Guys, enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the weekend coming up. And talk to you guys all later. See ya.